Alright you guys, and this one's going to be a nice little quick one, super easy. This one is going to be the office defence weapon of the year. Although I will condone you shouldn't be shooting people with this instrument. Alright, the print files goes. We have a pistol body. In fact, you know what, we'll bring you in. Let you see all the stuff. Alright, we have a pistol body, which has a little rail coming across here and here. You see that? Rail, rail. Now over here we have a hole and over here we have an indent. Which you'll see what that's for. Now this could be concealed in a bra, a sock, could be coloured any way, shape or form. And ideal for getting those colleagues back in the office. Or just for general fun. This is the slide. As you can see it has a couple of notches under here. This one here is actually for helping reload the spring to take your next shot again so we have two of these but it become apparent I shouldn't have made two of them I should have made one and then mirrored the other one and then printed it so I only really have one of them now we take a clothing spring a clothing peg uh, a clothing peg spring that's going to be to fire the mechanism and you can use matchsticks or cocktail sticks. So out of this, we're going to put it together and see if we can shoot something. So we get our base unit, the lower and the upper. For this, you want to bring it in and slide the front in first. And then the back will go down. And it locks into place to keep it so it won't come loose. You have to force it back to cock it. Right, so now that's done. We're going to take our side, which will only be on this side. Like so. And we don't have anything for here, but you could also put something in here to make it heavy as well, if you wanted to. Like if you were making it silver or black, like a real gun, you might want to make a weight inside. Right, now... To power the spring, just hold it against the body of the gun like so, and then just bend it up until it goes in. And I want to bend it out and along like so. So that's the firing mechanism, when you cock it back, it gets stuck down here, when you cock it back forward again, it's just waiting, as soon as you compress, it fires. So we want to load it, put it forward, load in our ammo, what are we shooting? Boom! That is wicked. That's actually got a decent bit of power. That would definitely shoot and stick into some fruit the way it is. Which is good because I originally got this file mixed up with another file that I've made. And in that file that gun needed blown up. Well I'd ended up choosing the wrong files and blowing up two guns that, to the wrong size. And one of these is one of them. It's quite a big gun. Only the clothing peg spring's not going to fit anymore. So I'm going to have to customise and make a custom spring to fit the bigger gun. But wow, after seeing this, I can't wait because my bigger version is going to shoot nails rather than cocktail sticks. So look out for that one. So yeah, you just cock it. Put it back forward. Put in your ammo. Boom! takes two minutes. You, I suppose if you were using this in the office workspace, if this was going to be concealed in a bra or in a sock or in a shirt pocket or something, you would probably want to use matches with the heads taken off them. So they're blunt and flat and square and less chance of doing damage. I mean, these are quite pointy. Oh, that was a misfire. Stick it in. <laughs> Too good. Now, it's only what? One, two, three, four, 
four parts, very quick to make, very, very quick to make. Bring in, see this thing. Very powerful. Didn't think it was going to have as much gusto as that, but yeah. That's it there. Wicked little gun. Very fast to make. Good for office wars. And yeah. Files will be, the links to the files will be in the description. You can see the creator over in Thingiverse. Amazing files over there. So yeah. Go and explore. This is the kind of things you can make with your 3D printer. Bye for now, folks.